I'm Danica with Couponing at its finest and I'm bringing to you today my Walgreens haul and today is March the 30th. Okay now for this video I did want to go ahead and add this to my tutorial playlist. This is going to be just a quick tutorial on how to shop Walgreens using more than one store discount meaning register rewards, points, and then in addition manufacturer coupons or store coupons and you can do it all in one transaction okay let me go ahead and just show you this little quickie deal real quick for CVS this is a last minute deal for you guys and I did post this on Facebook and I believe I posted it on YouTube and Instagram as well um, the Papar paparazzi nail polish these are going to be on sale two for five dollars at CVS and this is a last minute deal Okay, now what I ended up doing, I got two of those and just super quick, I did just use a $3 beauty book that I got from um, this week's hauls from that video. Um, I rolled that into this transaction. I paid $2 out of pocket and then I did get back a $4 register reward. So if you guys are a newbie and you're trying to go ahead and get started with CVS, this is a super quick deal that you guys can run out and do really quickly to get nail polish and then also get started on your ECBs. It's super newbie friendly, no coupons required. Um, if you wanted to, you could just pay the five and get the four, which drops these down to 50 cents each. If that's what you wanted to do to go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to CVS shopping and you don't have any like beauty bucks established or ECBs, be established on anything this will be a super quick and easy way for you guys to get started <clears throat> okay now on to Walgreens now what I did was this is actually two days I started on this yesterday and then wrapped it up today okay now today will be the last day for these deals and then I also did something um, different for the OxyClean it is not on sale this week I got a lot of questions about that but um, I'll go ahead and get into each transaction to show you guys what I did. Now, first of all, I was $2.79 from Hitting Beauty. If you guys are not familiar with what beauty is, it's called Beauty Enthusiast for Walgreens. And um, for Beauty Enthusiast, what you, all you have to do is just sign up in your online Walgreens account or in your app. And whenever you spend $50 on beauty eligible products in the store, um, which is also listed on Walgreens.com under Balance Rewards, you will get 5,000 points, which equals $5 back into your account digitally. Okay, now I did go ahead and just do the clean and clear um, jelly eye sheet mask. These are just regular price, $2.99. And like I said, I was only $2.79 away from beauty. So by purchasing this and I did not use any coupons on this, that pushed me over my threshold to hit beauty, which gave me 5,000 points. So I did start my transactions off with 12,000 points, which equals $12. Now for Walgreens, for now, we are able to redeem only 5,000 points, which is equal to $5.00 per transaction whenever we're using points. Now, be on the lookout for the next couple of weeks. We will be changing back to our tiered system, um, which we had last year, um, and they changed it around, I think it was October, November-ish. Um, they changed us to 5,000 points only, but before that, we were on a tiered system. So we'll be going back to the tiered system, um, which will be also on walgreens.com and in your app and displayed in you guys' stores. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with the first deal. Okay, now clearly I did not, we did not have a sale on the OxyClean for this week. So what I ended up doing was getting, I had a rain check from um, a prior week when we did have the sale of the OxyClean being $2.99. And then we did have that $2 off manufacturer coupon dropping these down to 99 cents. My store was wiped, so I did get a rain check. So I did redeem my rain check today. Okay, so for my official second transaction, because the clean and clear was on the first, I did do the OxyClean price modified down to $2.99. In addition to that, I did have the extra laundry detergent for $0.99. Cents. And then I did have the Reynolds Wrap. Now, this is not on sale. At my personal store, these are $2.79, just regular shelf price. This is the 30-foot um, package. 
the coupons that I used, I did use that $2 off one OxyClean manufacturer coupon. Now, this is what I'm talking about, about teaching. If you do not use a manufacturer coupon on a product, you can use a register reward. If you guys look at the top of your register rewards, they do say manufacturer coupon. Now, you cannot use a regular paper or digital manufacturer coupon on one item and then still use a register reward. That's like stacking manufacturer coupons. You cannot do that. So since I use the regular manufacturer on the OxyClean, I used the $1.29 register reward, which was from the Mentos deal from last week. It attached to, well, it didn't really matter which one it attached to, but it, it could either go for the extra or the Reynolds wrap because neither one of these have a coupon on it. Okay, so after that, that did drop my total down to $4.04. I did use $4 in points because we can use one, two, three, four or five dollars in points as of right now so i used four dollars in points and let me give you guys my receipt so you can see what i paid okay here's all the coupons and everything that i did go over with you guys so my subtotal was 348 now because like i always tell you guys in my walgreens haul videos we talk about after tax when we use points because points eat tax register rewards do not so my total was $4.04 after tax. I used $4 in points. So that made my out of pocket 4 cents, just four pennies for the OxyClean, the Reynolds Wrap and the extra. Okay, now for my next transaction, I did get another Oxy, which was once again, price modified down to $2.99. Okay, sorry about that. People like to move things in my house for some odd reason. <laughs> But I did get the Coffee Made Coffee Cream. Now, this was something that I needed in my home until I get ready to do my next grocery haul. These are not on sale. These are going to be $2.99 each. Okay, so what I did use was a $2 regular manufacturer coupon on that second OxyClean. Now, I did use a $1.29 register reward. Now, here in the state of Nevada, it depends on what state you live in. Um, and this is for like pretty much all stores. There is a regulation on um, dairy products. We are a regulated state. So we are not allowed to use points on dairy products. I don't ask me why. I have no idea. But we can't use points, but we can use a register reward. So I did use one $1.29 Mentos from last week register reward on the coffee made it attached to one of these now I did redeem points in this transaction because my total was four dollars and seventy cents and then after tax it was four dollars and ninety five cents let me get the receipt so that I can show you guys what I'm talking about you can see right here my coupons I just went over the two dollar manufacturer and then you see here manufacturer coupon a dollar twenty nine that's the register reward so my total was four seventy after tax it was four dollars and ninety five cents now we have been running into issues this happened with me with the soft soap deal earlier this week um, for some odd reason I guess because they are changing the system back to the tiered um, redemption it's only allowing you to redeem a certain amount of points. Now, if my total was $4.95 after tax, I should have been able to redeem $4 in points. That did not come up as an option for my manager who rang me. So what she ended up doing was just gifting me. Um, she was supposed to give me the balance, but she did and she gave me more. So I just redeemed $3 in points. Now, I should have only paid a uh, 95 cents for this, but I paid a dollar 95 because it would only allow us up to three dollars. So she ended up just gifting me 5,000 points. Technically, she only should have gave me the dollar, but she gave me uh, five dollars. So I ended up with more points, which I mean, that was fine for me. I told her she didn't have to do that, but she did. So I'm like, okay. So anyway, so that was that. So for my last transaction, I did get one more OxyClean. And then I did get um, the nice gummy bears right here. Now, these were priced clearance for 59 cents, but it did end up ringing 99 cents. It ended up working to my advantage, um, but it was supposed to be 59 cents. But anyway, 99. And then I also got another um, extra laundry detergent. Okay, so... I did use another $2 manufacturer coupon for the OxyClean. It was price modified down to $2.99 for my rain check. 
okay and the reason why i did um all of these separately is because the coupon limit is one um and then also in using microtransactions i was able to get the lowest out of pocket possible so it kind of worked out in my favor that way as well anyway okay so here's my receipt right here so here's the oxyclean coupon two dollars i did use another um register reward a dollar and 29 cents from the previous mentos deal so my total was a dollar 68 after tax it was two dollars and one cents so i used two dollars in points which made me pay one cent out of pocket, just a penny for that. So that's how you do that. I used the manufacturer coupon that I had for the product that it was for. I used the other um, register reward to use basically either on the nice brand um, gummy bears or on the extra laundry detergent, either one, because neither had a manufacturer coupon for it. And then I just went ahead and used points. You can use points even though you use a register reward. It doesn't matter. You can still do that. Okay, so you guys can see right here, I paid one cent. Okay, now that's what I did for yesterday. Now, for today, my transactions were a little bit different. Today was the last day for the IBC, which means in-store value coupon. Those are the um, monthly books that you guys see at the front of the store on the stand with the ads. Um, and those last for um, a full 30 days. So in that in-store book, we do have a $1.25 off. And that is a store coupon on the Scott. Now, in regards to that being a store coupon, when you guys are using your register rewards or your points in your transactions, that does not, and I'll say it again, that does not impact you using a register reward on a product. It does not because once again, like I said earlier in this video, that is still deemed as a manufacturer coupon. And here's one thing, I've explained this to you guys in previous Walgreens videos, but I'm gonna do it here also because this is going in my tutorial um, playlist. What Walgreens uses is item to coupon ratio. This is why this works out this way. What that means is, one item per one coupon. Now, we're speaking of the coupons that say one off one, okay? So, since I have a one off one coupon, that's for this product that goes to the side, okay? We're saying we have these three products right here, the extra rental wrap and OxyClean. So I use the manufacturer coupon here, okay, put that to the side. Now I have a register reward, okay? Now let's give the example. Instead of me having um, the $1.29 Mentos register reward, let's say I had one of those high value $6 register rewards that we get back for the Crest deals. Now, the extra is still 99 cents. The Reynolds wrap is still 279. I can still use a $6 register reward even though it is over the price of the product is being used on. Does that, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it does. Because this is $2.79, this is $0.99. Cents. As long as, now what I will have to do is add more product to do that. Because even though that register reward equals out to more than the product is attaching to. What it does is it's giving us overage. This is how you get true overage at Walgreens. We use those register rewards to attach to lower value products to give us overage onto the items we do not have manufacturer coupons for. But we do have to fill all that overage because it'll beep otherwise. You cannot go under. You have to fill it over or meet it for it not to beep. Now, this is this is something that's been over... Uh, over 10 years. <laughs> I've been couponing for nine years. Um, I've been couponing before Wal Walgreens implemented the point system <laughs> at Walgreens. So yeah, I've been doing register rewards like this for a long time, way before it became popular and people figured it out. But yeah, <laughs> that's what you do. That's how you get overage at Walgreens. You use those register rewards on lesser value product and it covers the rest of your basket items. Now, you'll never get any cash back off any coupon, period. But it does go towards your basket items. So that is the way that you get overage at Walgreens. Okay, I hope I was able to explain that in a way that you guys were able to understand. Okay, now moving on with the haul. Now, for today, what I did was go ahead and utilize the last of that monthly book. So for this transaction, I did get... Two of the Scott 12-pack Comfort Plus. Those are going to be 
$5. And that's all I did in this transaction. Okay, so here is my receipt right here. I did use two $1 manufacturer coupons. Now, because I used those two manufacturer coupons, I could not use a register reward unless I added another product, which we call filler items. Now, I did, didn't have any more register rewards anyway, but that's how you would do that. If you wanted to use a register reward to bring that down the out of pocket for this, you would need another item because once again, we're doing item to coupon ratio. One item, one coupon. Okay, now with that said, my total was $5.50. Okay, I did use, you can see right here, the in-store value coupon. It took off $2.50. It's $1.25 off one. I used two $1 off one manufacturer coupon, so they brought me to the $5.50. Now, I used points, so we're going to talk about after tax. $6.33. I did use $5 in points, which dropped my total down to $1.33 out of pocket for both of my Scott toilet papers. So that was a really, really great deal. Okay, for the last transaction, I did go ahead and get the nice brand aluminum foil. Now, this was a different store, um, store location. They didn't have this one with the 30 feet. They only had the 50 feet, and that one was $4.99. I wasn't doing that. So I ended up doing the nice brand 25 square feet. Now, this one was regular shelf price, $2.19. So clearly, you guys can see a trend. I needed um, aluminum foil. <laughs> Um, and then also in the transaction was my last, all the way in the back, extra laundry detergent. Once again, these are on sale this week for 99 cents. And this is the last day of the sale. So these are pretty much run deals at this point or hurry up and go get them. <laughs> okay, so here is my receipt right here. You can see the extra laundry detergent here, 99 cents and the foil to 19. So they brought my total to $3.18. Now we're gonna talk about after tax because I did use points. So after tax was $3.44. I did use $3 in points for this transaction. So they dropped my out of pocket down to 44 cents for the detergent and the foil. So yeah, I did. I think I did a really good job between the past two days. <laughs> so pretty much you can see I was, was burning points, but I was burning points on some of the different little knick-knacky things that I know I needed in my home. I did previously state on my last Walgreens haul video, I was gonna use it on the OxyClean and redeem my rain check. Um, which I did, um, but I was able to add in a couple of other products. One, because my um, manager at my first location yesterday did gift me points, but then I also had um, three other register rewards I wanted to go ahead and use. So um, as you can see, I just used it on the things that I needed for my home, the coffee cream, the toilet paper. Well, everyone can use more toilet paper. I have some, but that was more the last day of the sale, detergent, and then aluminum foil was my goal and coffee cream. <laughs> so yeah, it worked out really, really well. So hopefully I was able to go ahead and try to explain that in a way that you guys were able to understand. And if you guys have any questions, you feel free to go ahead and leave me a comment um, down below this video. Um, all questions and everything is always welcome. I am a national coupon coach. So if I ever explain anything in a way that you guys um, are confused or don't understand um i have my notifications on all the time like i told you guys in my uh youtube um coupon q a the live one my notifications are always on so i get everything <laughs> if it's 3 a.m then yeah i'm not gonna answer but i'll answer it as soon as i possibly can okay guys that's gonna go ahead and wrap up my video for today so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and happy couponing with love bye